right, greetings to you from Tumen, Russia, Siberia. It is 2nd of March. We're enjoying a spring day here. Uh, it's a wonderful day. Thank you, Lord. We enjoy you on it. And we want to just say hello and how much God loves you. And He is very, very faithful. And uh, I just want to bring out, bring out a short meditation. From time to time, I'm uh, reading a booklet. It's a very small booklet, really 80 pages, <clears throat> by Brother Lawrence. Many of you probably know that uh, that booklet. And uh, for me, it was like a really a life changer in many ways. And I'm sure for many of you, if you've read it, and I think it's something you cannot read it just once. <clears throat> And it's the name of that booklet is Experiencing the Presence of God. Experiencing the Presence of God. <clears throat> How <clears throat> awesome <clears throat> it is to realize that actually every moment of our life we are in, uh, we are living, we're breathing in God's presence. Even right now, as, as I'm talking and you're watching, we are right now in God's presence. <clears throat> And the, the issue is not that the presence of God is off and on. It is that we are not on and off. It is we are not always on the presence of God because we are distracted. And in that booklet, uh, Brother Lawrence is talking about the fact that we need to avoid certain things in our life which are not leading us to Him, not leading us to the Lord. And if we just take our life, if we just try to sort it through, you will see how many things we are actually overwhelmed, occupied, our ether is really just busy with all kinds of information, with all kinds of relationships, with all kinds of obligations and that we are not actually communicating with the Lord. <clears throat> and Brother Lawrence is, is sharing about how we, are, we need to develop a habit of, of constant conversation with the Lord <clears throat> and that conversation uh, in maybe in the beginning it is kind of we we sort of maybe a little bit intentional about it and as we are intentional about it as we are thinking about the Lord and our our thoughts of him are very very high of high of high value the Lord himself starts to draw us into prayer, into relationship, into His presence. And I've, I've always experienced amazing revival, amazing <clears throat> refreshment from those meditations by this brother who, who points us to the very need that every one of us have. We've been made to be in relationship, not in on one-way relationship, but a um, two-way relationship with Him. And I want to picture with you the, my little child. I have a three-year-old daughter and a five-year-old son. They're, they're adorable, you know, uh, to watch them, how they play and what they do. And, and I, I watch especially my three-year-old because, you know, she's in that kind of age where she's just, she's like in the, in the la-la land, you know. She, she has her own life. And it's very, very fun to watch. You know, and we're preparing meals, we're we're giving her a bath, we you know we're showing her cartoons and it's like she's very very like loose and very like loving loving this time. And basically one thing I could say a very sweet thing in a sweet way, but she's a very self centered person. She is. This is like her her nature. She's self centered being. And I love her. I, I I don't care. Like she's my she's my little girl. And maybe you have a child also. You you love your ch the children, but they are self-centered. And uh, one time recently, <clears throat> as I was washing my our dishes, she came over. She you know she takes juice from from somewhere from the shelf, and she never did it. Like and she just came over to me and said, "Papa, here is your juice. You need to drink some juice because you're working." And I'm I was like really blessed out of my socks because. She was <clears throat> always be, you know, pointing to me, you know, bring me the juice, give me the juice. 
I need the juice. Give it quickly to me. That's kind of the idea was uh, of our relationship. Yes, she knows me. She knows what I can give her. I can provide her. But <clears throat> now she came some to me with something that she already I got. I bought it for our house, and she took it. She took a small thing and she brought it to me, and I was blessed by that because I was blessed by love. And <clears throat> and isn't that is it isn't it any wonder that uh, the first and most important commandment that uh, God gave to uh, to us, to the nation of Israel, and to the church, is to love you, the Lord your God. Love the Lord. Your God. God is not some kind of self-sufficient. Yes, He is self-sufficient. Don't misunderstand me. He is self-sufficient. He is holy. He is separate. He is God Almighty. You know, like He is just incredible God. You know, like wow. He is like He is holding the whole thing together by His by the power of His word. And why in the world he would need my love? <clears throat> but he does want that. Because when we give that love back to him, the love that he gave to us, and we need to be just be aware and realize that everything we have, everything, every single thing is given, given to you by the loving hand of God. <clears throat> and and God is so blessed. Let if I could say it that way. It says, oh, "Bless the Lord, my soul." Oh, oh, there is in Psalms one. I think it's one, one o six or one o five. It says, "Oh, my soul, bless the Lord." How can I bless the Lord? We bless Him by the confession of our mouth. We bless Him by saying, "I love you." Yesterday, I was just a little bit overwhelmed uh, with a certain situation in, uh, in our. A certain situation and and as I was putting my my son to bed I was just I was just really in need of touch touch of love and I when I put him to bed sometimes I hug him and he holds me he holds me very very tight and he said okay try to get out of try to get uh, to be set free and we are playing of course I'm very powerful I can, I can just do it in a second but I was just I was just held by my son. I was just held by his love, and I was just blessed by the, by his love, and <clears throat> that he would he would love me in a very very childish way, but that love blessed me. And uh, though our God is self sufficient, although He is love, He is the source of love, <clears throat> but He desires a two way relationship. He wants us to be to live our life not on and off of his presence but that we would live off his presence from his presence drawing from his presence like our air and that our prayer would be sourced in his presence that we would be praying constantly and that's where that constant conversation <coughs> and believe my friends we will we need to lay off some of our things it is a grace message <coughs> It is like the, the grace of God has appeared that we would say no to ungodliness and worldly lusts. We cannot embrace the world as it is. We cannot embrace everything it offers to us. We cannot give attention to everything and then have, and, and then have capacity to love God. It says that don't love the world. Don't love the world. Not the things of the world. He who loves the world, he has no love of the Father in him. That is like the the world around us with all this garbage and sometimes with all busyness is trying to you know to rob us. The devil wants to rob our love relationship with with our Father. <coughs> he, God wants us not just to call on Him like in trouble. Well, we are all calling on Him in trouble, don't we? And I'm not I'm not saying it in, in condemning way, but I'm. I mean, we are like that, you know, we are, you know, we, we need God when we need healing. We need God when we need finances. We need God when we need, like, a, a breakthrough. We, of course we need God. We, we are calling on Him. But what about just now? Like, you are, I'm driving now, or you're doing something very simple. You're, you're talking with somebody. You're helping somebody. You can be in conversation and relationship and, and seeking the blessing of your Father upon what is happening, what is going on that God would not be just like a <laughs> that wonder stick you know you call on 
and he should he should help. I think prayer is really is a bond, is a bond to can to bond you with the Father, to bond you to Him so so close that you would not imagine you not <coughs> not imagine like God. I I I just I I'm, I'm just so grateful that I'm called in that love relationship, in the bond relationship. It's a it's not a slave relationship, but it's a it's a bonding relationship. And Father just is pleased to have that. Love your Father. Love your Heavenly Father. Say to Him often, Father, I love you. Ask Him to draw you if you feel drawn away. Say, draw me, Lord. Draw me, Father. I feel empty. I feel, uh, you know, my heart is cold. I, I pray that you would draw me. You refresh me. God, speak to me. <coughs> <laughs> to open to me by your Holy Spirit, your, your Scripture, your Word, that I would be, and not, uh, and not just a religious, a religious uh, child of God, but I would be a, a child who lives off the presence of God. May God bless you. I need to go work to work now. Thank you so much. Have have a fun day. If you if it's just starting for you, if it's ending, have it anyway. God bless you. Bye bye.